after this, I was not able to, or even I was told it would, it would uh, be like suicide to just even get pregnant. So just, you know, but uh, when it got to my waist, my mind began to run and I thought to within myself, I said, Lord, I thought, I says, I know God is holy, just, and good. So if I don't make it, I know I've had a chance. I was truly born again, again, baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire according to Acts 2 and 8. When the first early church was established by the 12 apostles, they received this experience, Jesus' his mother, some of his natural brothers, and so many spiritual ones, 120 all together. And I know that I had a brand new life since that time. But I just thought, I, you know, I gave up my seeing my, my husband again and my children and says, if this is what the Lord wants. And I was so tense. All of a sudden, just before it hit my heart, it stopped. And I heard the voice. I heard the words saying, who can kick against the brick? I had, sh I had shaken my feet and... And uh, trying to get it off at first, and he knew what I was going through. He says, "If I want you to, would you try and stay here?" So then I knew, Amen. That was taken about from the ninth chapter of Acts when God, when Jesus spoke out of the clouds to the apostle Paul, the same words. Well, I was resisting death, and I knew he wanted me to do. To, to, to do this and whatever happened or wherever I find my soul Jesus was just and I yield and when I yield the spirit of death just went over me all the way up quickly over my head just up to my face and, and over my head and I was in total blackness darkness still conscious Then, a very short while afterwards, I felt, uh, felt a lifting up, something coming out of the body, as if another person was sitting up. Then turned to the right hand of that car. And I all I can uh, understand is that I was moving in blackness, didn't see a thing, in darkness. So I went, I was moving in darkness for a while. I couldn't tell whether I was going up or down because the soul is spirit and it does not have any weight. It defies gravity. Gravity has no effect on the spirit. And all of a sudden, after a short while moving in blackness, I found myself standing in a, in, in a doorway And as far as my eyes could see, it was inside of a building. I was not privileged. I didn't know that I was in the third heaven. I did. I was not privileged to see anything as some have seen. Uh, you know, God would suffer them to see. I can only tell my experience, and this happened 45 years ago. As far as my eyes could see, I could see a, the congregation within that building, in that you know, from that doorway. And it's every one of them, they look like people. Souls are not just some little disembodied something. Your soul looks just like you. Just like your physical body. And they were all dressed in white. All looking up the same way. Not towards me standing in the doorway. So I didn't know. I just thought that I had bloated or gotten in some type of way, but I heard a voice over my right shoulders, taller than myself, but nevertheless it was on the right side, and it say, he said these, what just said one word to me before he left me, he says, saints. So I, being a saint, that was some relief, but no, I didn't know what to expect. And then I began, I mean they were sitting in and uh, uh, rows of seats as far as my eyes could see. 
across and even back. I was moved automatically by the power of God. I did not walk as we walked on earth, picking up one foot and putting it before the other, pulling it out of gravity, moving forward. No, as I stood just there where the angel, the scripture let us know, the angel of the Lord carries the souls of the saints where they are supposed to go after death. If a person is unsaved, the Bible um, lets us know, I praise God, that there are other ways that they get there. I heard a preacher mention once there was a sick person dying and they saw a demon sitting. The one that had deceived that person to reject the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and said that spirit just sat there until that, that person was growing worse and it just remained there. But when that person gave up the ghost, their soul left their body, said it took it. It was a pastor Mott that told this. He's going on now himself to be with the Lord. Took that soul and went laughing <laughs> and took it down to hell. So people, listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything but give you the message. Give to witness to you what happened to me 45 years ago that you will do something about your soul. In a minute, I will tell you and sh give you the scriptures from your Bible that will let you see who you are. You're not just a person you're looking at. Your body, soul, and spirit, fearfully and wonderfully made according to the scriptures by God Almighty and His Son, Jesus Christ, who was Christ at the time in the beginning co-creator with God according to the word of God in the New Testament said concerning Jesus Christ that was not anything made that is made that was made without him he said in Proverbs my father possessed me from the beginning of his ways before the foundation of the earth was ever laid before the mountains and hills were settled he said I was brought forth of his father he said, always rejoicing before him, as one brought up with him. And the word tells us time and time again that God has no beginning or ending. Even in Revelation, but it starts in the Old Testament telling us about this about our Creator. That he is Jehovah, self-existing need, not anything to help him to live. He witness of himself his testimony from everlasting to everlasting. I am God. Having no beginning or ending. So his life is a complete circle down through the years. Generation passes on. He even spoke that to his son in the first chapter of Hebrews. In the New Testament. But he said thou remainest and thy years shall not fail thee. Sit thou on thy right hand until I make your enemies, your footstool. He spoke just to Jesus after he had redeemed, had, had paid for our sins on Calvary, that we may just believe and be forgiven and receive his spirit and be willing to live a holy and a clean life on this earth that we can witness to others because hell is called the terror of the Lord. Nevertheless, Jesus Christ after taking me to paradise by his power through uh, the help of the holy angel I was moved automatically to the front row of that great congregation not one turned their head to look at someone coming in so I was placed on the front row uh, in a seat on the front row and I noticed that there were no ex no 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 empty seats but just one, praise God, for me to be to sit. And on each side of me, that was a soul that looks just like a person, but a spirit, the person that it came out of. My God, it was so real. I only knew at that time one mother in the church, I was a young saint, uh, that had passed since I was a member of that church. And I leaned forward to see if I...